Hey everybody, in today's video we're going to build out our comment section. This is going to include the comment component which will hold our comments in addition to being able to submit new comments to our API endpoint. So let's open our page.js file that's within our components folder. So let's start out with a few imports. Then create a function named comment and be sure to export it. So our component is going to take two props, comment and set comments. These are going to be used to help manage the comment data. Inside of our component, we're going to bring in the use session hook, and it's going to be used to manage the object containing the session data. So here we're just structuring the data property and assigning it a variable named session. So the variable token is going to use the access token from the user within the session object. This token is going to be used for authentication purposes when making a delete request to the server. We don't want anyone to just be able to delete a comment. We want to make sure that it is someone that's authorized to do so. So now we're going to create an asynchronous function named handle delete that will handle our delete request to the server. This is going to be to delete our comments. The endpoint for this request is going to include the ID of the comment that we'll be deleting. The authorization header is set with the value of the token variable to authenticate the request. And of course, this is a delete method. So the set comment function is going to be passed as a prop to the comment component, and it's going to be responsible for updating the comment list in the parent component. So inside of our return statement, we're going to include our comment component. This is going to be the actual comment section. I'm going to add in some code just to give it some basic styling. Feel free to use this or make it your own. I do want to call out the handle comment function that we just built within our code. So within it, what we're saying is, is if the user ID from session equals the author ID of the comment, then we want to show the delete icon that's going to handle the on click method that we're going to be passing in the handle delete comment function. Otherwise, we're just going to show the text, which is the comment and the author of said comment. Now let's save our file and we'll need to display this comment on our post detail page we'll also need a way to create comments now this could be a separate component but for simplicity purposes I'm just going to add it on the post detail page as well so let's open the page.js file inside of our post bracket ID folder we'll start by importing our comment component inside of the post detail component underneath our post likes let's add two state variables one named comment text this will be for the text entered into the comment form the initial value value of it is going to be an empty string and the second variable will be named comments which will be an empty array to hold all of our comment posts. Our use effect hook is going to be used to fetch the comments for the post. Once it's mounted we're going to make an asynchronous get request to our API endpoint and the way we're going to specify or grab the individual posts is by using the ctx.params.id. In our set comments function, we're going to pass in our JSON response, which is assigned a variable named comments. Now we're going to create a function to handle our comments, which we'll name this asynchronous function handle comment. Inside of it, we'll have a try catch block. Then we'll create an object named body, which will hold the keys of post ID, author ID, and text. So the post ID is coming from the ctx.params.id. The author ID is coming from the next off session, and text will be entered in by the author. Then we'll make a fetch request to the comment API endpoint, sending the headers object. Type is application JSON. Authorization is going to be coming from the user access token. The method will be post, and we'll use the dot stringify method in order to get JSON data. Outside of the headers object, let's store the response in a variable named new component. The set comments function is going to be used to update the comment state. Ultimately, what we want to do is we want to take the new comment object and move it to the beginning of the array. It's going to basically take the previous state and add that new comment object to the beginning of the array. That way, we're going to see the latest comment at the top of our post section. We'll use the function name set comment text in order to clear our input field. And in case we get an error, we want to make sure we log it to the console. Now let's update our return statement. Now let's scroll down the page just above the last div. Let's create a little bit of space within it. Let's add a H2 just to show that this is the comment section. Then we'll create a div within our div. We'll have an input. This input will have the on change method set comment text. We'll give it a value of comment text. The type will be set to text and feel free to give it whatever styling you want. And I just added a placeholder of leave your comment here. Then we'll create another div within it will be a button. The button will have an on click method and we'll pass in the handle comment function. Here we have some styling. This button will handle the creation of our comment. Finally, we want to create one more div. This div is going to hold some JavaScript. Within it, we're going to say if the comments is greater than zero, we want to map over the comment. And for each comment, we want to create a component, pass in a key, 
And if you recall, we gave it two arguments, one being comment and the other one being set comments. We're going to pass in comment and set comments into each. And for the or portion of our conditional statement, we'll pass an H4 and we'll just say be the first one to leave a comment. If we save our file and go back to our local host, click on see more to go to our post detail page. We'll see that the comment section header is now displayed at the bottom of our post. We also have our comment section listed here as well. So let's type in the text our first post. If we click on comment, we'll see our text listed here, the author, and we also have the delete icon in the event we want to delete our comment. Let's test it out. And we see that our comment successfully deleted and we have the message of be the first one to leave a comment back on our screen. So that's going to conclude today's video. I hope you enjoyed the series. If there are other suggestions or things you'd like for me to do, just let me know. Otherwise, I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video.